What did you make of, of what's in there? Is this going to be the final time that she testifies before the committee? We're going to have a new Fed chair? I have no idea. I know that uh, there's a reasonable chance that she may be uh, retained, and there's also uh, numbers of other names that have been floated. So I just uh, I have no idea. That's the president's decision, and I doubt he even knows at this moment. i to talk about foreign policy quickly. There's been a ton of developments this week with Donald Trump Jr. and these emails. What, is, what do you want to know about where all of this is headed? You know, I'm so busy on the actual foreign policy of our country and health care and so many other issues. Uh, I'm, I'm relying upon the Senate Intelligence Committee to understand all that's happened, and uh, I try not to get too caught up in the daily machinations. So I've got a lot of faith in Senator Burr and Senator Warner, and um, I, you know, they'll they'll see this through, and we'll figure out what what did and didn't happen. And how do we prevent Russia from doing this again, though? Oh, I think Russia, uh, this is just part of their DNA, uh, being involved in influencing uh, in elections, but also it's really not necessarily influence, and it's calling, causing people to really uh, question the veracity of elections. I mean, that inures to their benefit. They're a country that uh, wants to destabilize Western democracies. Uh, I think they're going to continue to do what they've done here, but they're doing it in other places. We, when I visit uh, other parts of the world, especially some of the areas that are close to to, to what used to be the Soviet Union, or or uh, you know, you you see them interfering in elections there, whether it's in Moldova or other places. So this is just. Uh, what they do. Um, one of the big threats to, the, to Russia is if Ukraine can move away from corruption, can move away from uh, uh, the practices of the old Soviet Union and become really a part of the West where, you know, democracy is flourishing and, uh, you know, you have capitalism and all that, that's a threat to him because uh, it threats, uh, threatens the model that uh, he has, uh, says grace over. If you Final will. question, health care. The latest proposal put forth by the Senate Majority Leader keeps some of the Obamacare taxes in. Is that going to work with the Republican Party to get this through before August recess? Well, the, the, what it really does is keep a revenue base in place. Uh, tax reform will deal with what type of taxes should or shouldn't be in, case, in place. So I don't think anybody should look at the particular types of taxes, but just look at that as a revenue base. By the way, all of the taxes uh, were kept in Republican budgets. All of the revenue base that they generate was kept in every recent Republican budget. So I, I don't think people ought to focus on the particular tax, but just say, yes, there's a, there's a stream of income that's being kept when tax reform is dealt with, uh, how that stream of income is put in place will be then focused on. So it sounds like you're on board then with this plan from the majority leader? Well, I, I truly haven't seen the plan. You're interviewing me at 11.14 <laughs> a.m. and we're gonna see the plan uh, at about 11.30. I do think that, uh, you know, based, uh, I think the leadership has done a good job in trying to take people's uh, concerns into account. and. I certainly look forward to moving to debate next week and appreciate being listened to on many issues.